Hey fellow Backyard Warriors, Nick here. And today is a continuation of the bow failures. So today I'm going to show you what happens when a PVC bow actually breaks. Now the main reason why a bow would break is if it had any kind of burns in it anywhere. Mainly around the handle, so in about this area because the handle section and especially this mid limb area is where the bow is under the most stress. If there are any burns or spots where the pipe actually melted in this area, it could cause a, weak en a spot weak enough and brittle enough so that the bow would explode at full draw. Now this bow here is only a, is a light bow. It's not under a lot of stress, but I'm going to show you just how bad you know a little some burns can be. So here you can see. This bow comes up to full draw, no problems. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take it, I'm going to use the heat gun and I'm going to create a burn right in here on the top limb. And now this is really important, this is going to show you why it's really important not to burn the pipe. Another thing too that could cause this is if the pipe gets brittle in the sun. Because we've strengthened the handle but it gets weaker but not incredibly weak over here to maintain strength most of the stress on this bow is right in here so even if it simply got brittle it would be in here so that's why you don't want to leave your bow out in the sun for months at a time and most importantly you don't want any burns so I'm gonna heat this up I'm gonna burn it and then I'm going to shoot it for you guys, or should I say, I'm going to blow it up for you guys. Here's the heat gun, here's the pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a burn right in here where the stress on the bow is highest. And so burns happen when you focus on one spot too long, so I'm going to show you that. So there you go, There's that's what a burn looks like. This is not as bad as it could be, not as severe as it could be either, but sometimes it can be a lot worse than this, and you wouldn't even notice it. So I'm going to let this cool off, and then we're going to see if the bow breaks or if it survives. Here's the bow, and we've got the burn on it. So. I'm going to shoot it, or not shoot it, I'm going to draw it for you guys. I'm going to show you what will happen. We'll see if it breaks or not. I'm going to be wearing this fencing mask just for my own protection. I don't suggest you ever try this. Don't try this and make sure that there are no burns on any part of the pipe. So here we go. So there you go. So guys just guys just be careful. You know, always be safe. Make sure that you don't have any burns in your pipe, but this will happen. You know, I, this was a 20 pound bow. Wasn't under that much stress. I did overdraw it, but let's say if this were a one inch pipe bow and you were making it less than six feet long or less than five feet long and you burned any part of the boat this is what you're looking at so you know I'm fine it didn't hit me anywhere other than the head and I was protected but just keep in mind that you could really get injured so there you go thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys next time